Welcome to another video. This is yours truly. Um, before I start, um, I just heard about this in the news. Well, I already heard about it. Um, and I hope this is, I think it's still relevant, but um, I heard about a teacher in France who was beheaded by an 18 year old um, Muslim student. And um, the mu the eighteen year old Muslim student beheaded this teacher because um he because the teacher showed a um a political a Muslim cartoon to the students and for some reason he didn't like it the 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 eighteen year old Muslim student didn't like it and just beheaded the teacher. Meaning, um, got his head cut off. And France is completely shocked at this. And, um, I think after, um, the teenager, the 18-year-old Muslim kid, after he, um, it was a, it was a boy, after he, um, beheaded the, um, teacher, um, he was shot and killed by police. Yeah, um, so he's dead, and, um, I heard that French President Emmanuel Macron and his government are going to be tough on, on, um, Islamic extremists. So, yeah, let me, uh, go back, um, I think the 18-year-old the who beheaded the teacher was, it was Islamic. So, um. So uh that was horrible what happened to that teacher. Um it was it's terrible and um you know all I gotta say is that eighteen year old um got what he got what he deserved, you know. Because he was a threat, you know, he ran around like beheaded a um a school teacher a 40 something year old school teacher been beheaded by an 18 year old that's terrible so yeah um, this video is going to go there um you know um I don't want to just talk about um America, Canada and and Texas a, a state here in the US that I currently live in. Um, I just don't want to talk about like what goes on here and what my experience is here and how people are here. You know, I'm, I'm going to close that door and I'm going to head overseas to Europe. Okay. Europe. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. I'm in Europe, you know, and, um, there's, there's a lot of countries on that continent, you know, um, Europe, um, shares the same land mass as Asia and both of these continents together, Europe and Asia make up Eurasia and you have the Ural mountains and somewhere in Russia that, that is the, um, boundary between the two continents. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of countries in Europe, and um, I'm gonna talk about two countries in Europe, and they are the United Kingdom and France. Okay, um, the UK is a country that's made up of a lot of countries, um, England, Scotland, Wales. And Northern Ireland. And um. Okay. I'm going to get compare. I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk. Read some. I'm going to talk. Talk about um. Both um. The UK and France. Um. People in these countries. You know um. Okay um. 
the people in the in the UK, um, this is stereotypical. Um, they are known as um drunken hooligans, stuck up, and they're called um roast beef by the French. Simply means um it's just a term roast beef is a term to um, describe um the red coat um, military from a long time ago. They wore red coats and um it also describes um British people who turn red when they get too much sun. I mean I guess that's that's the um white people. And, oh wait, uh, okay um. Then you have the um, French people. The French people are known as um, they. And here's a list of how they are. Um, they are rude, negative, overly confident, questionable hygiene, judgmental, snobby, well dressed. They have a superiority complex where they think they are better than you. They never smile. They complain about everything. They love cheese. They smell bad, um, which is connected to um, questionable hygiene. And Paris, the Eiffel Tower, there's a lot of imagery Around the lover, the French lover. Okay, um, and both countries, the U, the United Kingdom and France, um, and um, have um have citizens from each country living in each in other in each other's countries, um, um. Okay, um, there are um. 300,000 French citizens who live in Great Britain and there are 150,000 British citizens who live in France. Okay, let me read this again. Um, 300,000 French citizens live in Great Britain and 150,000 British citizens live in France. Okay, in France, um, I think Americans love the French because of their wine, cheese, delicious baguettes, French art, culture, and fashion. Okay, um, health care. Um, okay, um, um, both countries, um, the U the United Kingdom and France, both have universal health care. Um, here's a comment that I received from a British person. Um, they're going to remain anonymous. Um, I'm not going to say their name. And here's what they told me about the NHS, the National Health Service. The NHS isn't perfect by any means I'm British but we all pay in what we can afford a payroll tax of 7.5 percent for everything you earn over 4,500 pounds a year matched by your employer this also funds pension pensions and unemployment benefits and we get the treatment we need. Waiting times for elective surgery for elective surgery are long and you can get the most advanced drugs. However, no one is denied treatment of poverty. Britain Britain is not a socialist state. It is it is the nation that invented modern capitalism and yet 80% of the population supports the NHS. It appears 
it appeals to the British sense of fair play. People don't choose to be ill. It is therefore manifestly, manifestly unfair to withhold treatment on the basis of income. Employers like it as well because it takes all the responsibility for providing health care away from them. Okay, here's the um, here's the health care system of France. When it comes to health care, the French are extremely proud of their system. And we have every reason to be. It is high quality, accessible and affordable. The French health care system is ranked the best in the world. The critics say the system is hemorrhaging money. So who pays for it or what's its or what's its long term prognosis? The French love to complain about the French love to complain. But one thing that will always stick up for for it for is the French health care system. That is because. France ranks among the best in the world when it comes to the general health of the population. The infant mortality rate is 4 per 1,000 births and the life expectancy is 79 for men and 85 for women. The infant the infant mortality rate is very low and the life expectancy is pretty high. Getting affordable and quality health care is not something French people worry about. They know there will be a safety net for them no matter what. In France, health insurance is mandatory and universal which covers all legal residents. Almost everyone has a, has a health care card called the Vital. The Vital is a health care card or half French ID card that is the symbol of the French health care system. What you do what you do is to show up at your point of care and you swipe the card and it contains all the details for your rights to treatment and refunds which are generous and wide ranging. Okay, um, <clears throat> France's health in <clears throat> France's health insurance system is part of the broad social protection program called Souti Soleil, or Social Security in French, which also covers things like pension and family subsidies. Solidarity is a crucial part. Of the system. The government refunds 70% of most health care costs and 100% of fees for serious or chronic illness like cancer and AIDS. In other words, the sicker the person is, the less they pay. So who fits the bill? Well, largely the public. More than 40% of health care spending is financed by payroll taxes. A third comes from income taxes, which is relatively high in France. And the rest of taxes on tobacco, alcohol, and soda. Also, the pharmaceutical industry and a small amount of state subsidies. Everyone pays into the system. But people get a lot out of it. Patients have total choice where they go for care or who they see. In other words, there is no gatekeepers. In the French health insurance, in the French health insurance covers a lot. Inpatient, outpatient care, house calls, specialists, prescription drugs, mental health, maternity care, and even some form of 
alternate medicine like acupuncture. The French love their health care. One thing you often hear about here, here abroad. One thing you often hear abroad about French health care, that is that it is 100 percent socialized. But that's wrong. For instance, a majority of French doctors are self-employed. And about a third of French hospitals are for profit. The French health care system is a public slash private hybrid, and that's good for patients. About 90% of French people opt for supplementary, supplementary private medical insurance. This covers things, this covers things that aren't fully covered by the state. For instance, when you get eyeglasses or when you go to the dentist. But the truth of the matter is, French health care just isn't as expensive as it is in other countries to begin with. That's because the government participates in setting what it considers fair prices for appointments, procedures, and drugs. And the government has a lot of bargaining power to keep prices low. For example, the cost of an average visit to a general practitioner is just is just 25 euros. Well, that means French doctors tend to earn less money than say their American counterparts. About a third less. But medical school isn't is partially free in France and they don't have to pay for manual practice insurance. So it evens up. Now some specialists like a gyne gynecologist, for example, might charge more, say about a hundred euros a visit, but you'll never see the dizzy prices you might see in the United States or in other countries. Also, there's something about, there's just some more about the French people. Um, the French people have a secret love for the British royal family in the UK. They won't openly admit it. On the outside, they will make fun of how backwards it is. <laughs> okay, um, that's what, um, British, Britain and France are all about. Um, I remember a while back, um, somebody, um, told me in a comment that I, um, commenting, commenting on a video on a YouTube channel that was owned by, um, a Russian by the name of Igor the Russian, and he talked about how America is, and, um, I left a comment and talked about um, that, that how America is so bad and um, Britain and France are better than are better than than the U.S. And I, I don't remember what I said. Um, this is before um, I started uploading um, videos on this account. I mean, I didn't had no videos on this account when I. Um, posted this comment and um someone from the UK sent me this comment to me and said this have you been living under a rock England and France are overrun by Muslims really um <laughs> um Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna say this, and, um, by the way, um, I'm doing this video at a park at night, um, I'm standing under, I'm standing under a, um, street light, um, there's no one here but me. Um, there's no one, there's no one here but me, um. 
I'm going to say this. Um, I went to the United Kingdom. Well, I went to both the UK and France. In the United Kingdom, um, I didn't see that much. Um, I went through Heathrow Airport, you know, um, and um, I encountered a, a police officer. And I asked the police officer um, where the buses were at. Um, he turned around. He didn't say anything. He just turned around and just walked away, ignoring me. So that was kind of rude. And um, someone who was in the baggage claim area near the baggage claim claim um, mumbled, I think, yeah, mumbled, I think, to my um mom and my sister saying this when they asked them where, where um have we been checked and um where's the buses at and there was a guy he said this so yeah um and and i was and i and i was thanked um heavenly by this british immigration officer when i filled out um, this UK landing card, you know, it was a it's a UK landing card, you know, um, that you get and you fill out um, and you turn in to the British immigration officer. Um, you post that show that when it's filled out along with your passport. Um, but um, the UK landing card's been scrapped, so they're no more. So um, I filled it. I filled it. I filled it out, and the British immigration officer. Uh, Said this to me, Richard. Congratulations, you put down the American. Richard, Richard is the only one who got it right. <laughs> yeah. Um. Some of the people there were friendly. Some of them were rude. I mean, I haven't been all over the country, and um, in France, um, um. I ran into a friendly um, woman who was giving out bus tickets to everybody. Um, and she said something to me, and I don't remember what she said. It was, it was French. She was a typical French woman, and she was really nice. Um, um, this was in a city called um, Le Havre, Le Havre, France. Le Havre is a city in northwestern France, and um. Yeah, and um, me and this ball headed guy with um, this ball, me and this ball headed guy who had tattoos saw a homeless guy walking by. We were both standing at this um hamburger stand, and um, the ball headed guy with tattoos um told me in a hand gesture that the guy was crazy because the, the homeless guy walked by speaking, f saying something in French. He was basically talking to himself. So yeah, he was a wacko. It was funny. Um, I think I said, yeah, I said this in a, in a previous video. Um, yeah, um, I was gonna say this, you know. Um, yeah, both of these countries, um, they have their problems. They're not perfect, but you know, um, they're not as bad as the U.S. and are not. They're not bad countries at all, you know. Um, I mean, I understand that um, the history between um, Britain and France. I mean, they hate each other for a long. They hate each. They used to hate each other, and they had a rivalry. Um, yeah, and um, I have some Brits telling me that um, in the UK, um, the United Kingdom has a has a has a has a shitty quality of life and you're not gonna like it there and um and a lot of Americans not a lot of Americans don't move there and um and someone told me to watch a video that on on YouTube from Paul Watson titled um London is a shithole yeah, I heard saw I uh, saw and heard some things about um Britain or London. This is London in the UK, um the largest city in there, like the capital. Um <clears throat> talked about um 
Um, there, there's a high knife crime um, of stabbings, pit pocketing. Um, buses are turned into mobile exercising gyms on wheel, and um, sludge and sludge is being dumped into the River Thames, and um, and a lot of crime, and it's deemed a shithole. <clears throat> And I watched also I watched a video about Paris in France, where um you know um, boy um, Paris is a dirty city and um, it has urine-soaked streets because men pee all over the place and um, people throw their trash on the side of the on on the sidewalk and people letting their dogs poop all over the place and people are treating the city like trash and people in Paris um, per Parisians say that um, um, when, when tourists come to us come here they laugh at us and, and one, uh, one another, uh, another Parisian said this another Parisian said this um um, um, you have this idea that um, Paris is a beautiful city, it's a city of love, and you build it up in your you build it up in your head, and when you get there, it's not what you thought it would be. And and people and you know, I think the authorities are putting out fines for people urinating, um, letting their dogs poop all over, all over the place on sidewalks and people throwing their trash all over the place you know and um, it's kind of comical <clears throat> and one Parisian said this um, France has an, has enough fines and laws as, as it is you can't stop people from from throwing their trash and all over the place you just can't stop them and I heard that um, a long time ago in the 1990s, they had France or Paris, just Paris, had um, people riding around on motorbikes, um, cleaning up side, cleaning up sidewalks and places in Paris, and they all disappeared somewhere in the 90s. No, they were in the 80s, and they disappeared in the 90s. So yeah, and um, also yeah, and also um, the yellow vest protesters um, when destroyed Paris, and that scared Emmanuel Macron, and that led him to going on live TV and saying that um, saying that he's gonna raise the minimum wage to a thousand euros, and the French people didn't like it. And there's one good thing about the French. I mean. If you if you're the fr if you're the government if you screw them, take away their health care or screw their screw their retirement pension or whatever, they'll come they'll come out and protest hard, and you know in um in France, the government is afraid of the people, yeah the government is afraid of the people. And that's just amazing. I mean I mean here in America um. The people are afraid of the government. It's just like it's just a culture shock to me, and it is. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, um, I'm gonna hear a lot of stuff about the UK um, from Brits. I mean, I'm not gonna hear. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna hear anything from the French. You know. Because I heard this and I assumed that, you know, I heard one French person say that they don't have time to be on the internet all the time. I mean, it was the fact that, you know, like, the majority of them, like, a lot of them speak French and just a few of them speak English. A few of them speak um, English and, fr yeah, a few of them speak English and French. And a lot of them, the citizens... The native ones speak um, French, and you got like people who are from Britain speak French as well. Yeah, I also heard that um, 
um, the, 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 editor, the editor of chief of um, Vogue magazine, Anna Wine Tower, wherever her name is, um, she is known for having the um, page boy Bob um, haircut. She had this, she retained this for years, and I heard um, from people, from celebrities like um, Pamela Anderson. I mean, I know you guys don't care about this, I don't say this. Um, I'm just gonna go into Anna Wine Tower because she's British, and um, I heard that um, she walked past um, she when she comes in contact with um, with with people on her staff, like you know, like designers and 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 models. Um, she ignores them, and she bullies them around. She intimidates them and bullies them around. And she doesn't like small talk. So yeah, I mean, I think that, I think she's a witch. And I think she's like very, very ice cold. I mean, I'm not going to say like all British people are rude. Like, you know, it's like this. Um, well, one Brit told me that you got some, you got some, you got some dickheads and twats and, and, and wankers, whatever they say that, but yeah, like idiots and rude people, but you know, um, yeah, that said that they're, they're there too, but they're there in the country, but you know, it's it's a mixed bag, you have good and bad. And I heard this thing that, oh, the French people are rude, the French people are rude, that's BS, I mean, yeah, it's the fact that, you know, foreigners, outsiders say that the French are rude, because, you know, um, they're rude because, um, you know, they don't give eye contact. They don't walk up and just talk to people like people in Britain do. You know, they're not rude people. I mean, yeah, they're going to judge you if you if you don't have some. If you, some of them are going to judge you if you don't have any manners or anything. They're judgmental, but yeah. And I heard my dad told me that, oh, French people are sneaky and rude and they'll stab you in the back. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, people here in America, like, I got stabbed in the back by people here in the States. Like, you know, Texas specifically. I, I mean, I got stabbed in the back in the past so much, like, I just lost count. <laughs> yeah, like, you know... My dad just have a narrow, out, out of out of touch uh, mindset of of the world. He's saying that uh, countries outside of America are bad. They have problems. They pay higher taxes. And and here in America, even though we're held down, this is one of the best countries in the world, which is just pure um, propaganda. just pure propaganda so so yeah um yeah i just saw a possum walking by he just went into the, into the woods um uh, behind a building at a park um yeah so um that's all i gotta say in this video about um the uk and france um yeah, again, um, I don't want to just just do videos about America and all the time and Canada and Texas and you know North America in general. Yeah, I just want to talk about like other stuff and talk about like people in other countries, like in Europe, Asia, Africa, or Australia or New Zealand. I have a friend. Who told me about um, how the United Kingdom is. I'm not going to say his name. He told me that um, in Britain um, people bully each other around. They bully each other. And the crime rate is through the roof. It's so bad. Stabbings and pit pocketing. Um, yeah, my friend was very obsessed with the UK bullying have people who bully pe other people around. And um, 
and I think um, Anna White Tower, um, the the editor in, the editor the editor in chief of Vogue magazine is like this. So yeah, um, and people told me the United Kingdom sucks. Um, say that the, the quality of living is shit. So yeah, you know, and um, again, also in France, I heard nothing about France at all from the French people. So you know, looks to me them they're not gonna say anything. So, you know what? <laughs> yeah, um, you know they don't. You know the French are not. They don't talk about things openly. They just keep things to themselves. You know. But I know it's one thing I'm um, comparing the French with the Americans, you know, the American government or I mean, I mean the American um, police or the government here in America won't say a thing. But I saw this French person on, on the same thing that happened, like something bad happened, like a French person talked about what was going on. So, yeah, you know, I'm. Um, It looks to me that um, Britain, or Britain and France are mixed bags, and they are. Okay, uh, well, I didn't mention this. Um, we'll talk about this. Um, um uh, since um, I have some have some viewers from other countries um view my videos, and I think I got some Americans into this. I mean, I'm gonna just say this to the Americans, um, um, we all know that, um, racism exists in America, um, and racism exists in both, um, the United Kingdom and France, um, I think in both of these countries, um, racism is not tolerated, and they're very hard on it, they'll crack down on on um, racist people in these countries, but well, you know, um, there's some racist people exist. Um, I have I have a subscriber from the UK um, who told me about a person who I used to sub to here on YouTube. Um, his name is um, Scotty thirty eight sixty one. Um, he's a guy from um, well, he's British and um. And um, he, I used to I used to subscribe to him because um, he talked about um, mid -tow, um, video games, um, the decades which is the um, the twenty tens which sucked, um, movies, music, um, music. I think he just talked about music, not movies, but um, yeah, and. Uh, I, I subscribed to him because of those things, and um, I told one of my subscribers that I subbed to um, Scotty thirty eight sixty one, and this person said this to me: uh, "You better stay away from Scotty thirty eight sixty one. He's racist." And I said, "Well, um, well, I watched some of his videos, and, like he didn't say anything racist." And my subscriber told, and one of my subscribers told me this: "Um, you you can well." I'm just saying he's racist, and um, you can subscribe to him if you want to or not. Um, that's up to you. So I say, well, if he's racist, then I'm gonna unsubscribe to him. I'm not gonna have anything to do with him. I'm not gonna have anything to do with anybody who's racist. And I think there's another person from Britain or the UK, Great Britain, who I sub to. Um, on YouTube, um, his name is um. Truth Seeker 666. Um, he was like he's a guy in his 40s. Um, what made me want to subscribe to him? Because he talked about how good the NHS was and he and he bashed how shitty the the um health care here in the US is. And he told the truth like about it, like he talked about the um, 
the politicians are are, are a bunch of are a bunch of fucking scumbags and say that all, all the politicians are lying to all the Americans about how bad universal health care is and how good the health care that they have here here in the States and, and he said this your politicians and government are lying to you they are fucking lying to you and he went on to talk about how the, how the NHS is how cheap it is cheaper per month for a medication and and you pay you know pay that much in taxes you pay a little bit of extra tax I think that's what he said I don't, I don't know if the NHS changed on this or not yeah I think yeah I just read about like, someone telling me how to the NHS is different now, so yeah. Um, about True Seeker six six six, um, I noticed that um, he bashed and made he bashed um disabled people and made fun of them. Um, um, he complains about a lot of stuff, you know, like little little things that no one cares about. Um, um, I don't know I should unsubscribe to this guy or not because he was bashing disabled people in the video so yeah um, I don't know like he's very educational he talk about educational things you know and I comment on some of his videos um, I don't I watch some of his videos on his channel and you know some of them were kind of funny you know entertaining um he's he likes some um, like he's into like crop circles and um conspiracy theory things you know um yeah um i don't know should i unsubscribe to this guy or not because um he talked about um he was bashing disabled people um who were like reading things for the bbc so i don't know so I'm going to check out his videos and just make my decision. Should I drop this guy from my subscription list or not? So, yeah. Okay. Um, women in both countries. Um, I heard stories in the UK that, um, that the women are, are more mature and they're down to earth. And they're easy to talk to and they're easy to connect. Um, that's what I heard. And also I heard that um, um, the women, well, that, that's the women in, um, in the United Kingdom. And also I heard that um, British women are, are similar to American women. And over in France, um, I don't know anything about the French women. Um, I ran into one... Um, she was very nice she was very sweet and she was you know um the woman who um who, who was giving out bus passes to people um just i just came off a cruise ship and um got a bought a bus pass to get on the bus and ride around in this city in northwestern france called um lee harve um yeah um um, I looked on Google Maps, you know, um, I saw some of the women, um, the younger women, like, the younger women are kind of cute, um, this is in France, um, also, I didn't mention this, um, I remember, I remember I was on a cruise ship, and two British girls wanted me to get on the elevator, or the lift, as the Brits call it, they want me to get on the lift, they want me to get on the lift with them and ride with them on the lift to um, to one of the top decks um where my where my cabin and room was and um I turned it down yeah um <laughs> so um I'm going to say is I'm assume that you know um women in both the UK and France are, you know, um, I'm gonna say they're, they're probably way better than the uh, women here in the, here in America or North America. 
yeah, just want to say that. Yeah, and also, um, you know, um, I don't say that the quality of life, um, I say like, you know, um, in both countries, um, healthcare, education, um, programs, everything for, um, average normal poor people or, you know, our, I say, um, <laughs> I say are better compared to here in America, um, I'm not gonna say these these two countries are perfect, you know, they have they have their problems, but you know, they don't have the problems that America has. And I'm gonna say this, you know, um going to the UK, um ran into some Brits online, um some say that say that their country the standard of living is shit, it's bad and And it's not that great, and um, they complain how how it is, and um, people like um, Truth Seeker six 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 and Scotty thirty eight sixty one, they complain um, uh, they complain about how bad their country is, and I know it's like you know, the Brits in the UK that complain about how bad their country is, you know, I think they're just these conservative ones, you know, because I don't hear the people who are not like them, are complaining about how bad the country is. Like, some tell me, like, oh, go to Scotland. You, you'll you be blown away. You'll be amazed at what you see there. And say a lot of good things about the UK. Um, so, you know, um, yeah, it's basically, I mean, if I go to these two countries, I mean, there's some things I'm going to like there's some things i'm not going to like i mean i've been to both of these countries i mean i haven't been to both i haven't been in these these two countries for very long you know been in these two countries and they seem to be all right you know so yeah so yeah that's all i gotta say in this video thank you for watching Take care. Bye.